Right guys, welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today we're going to be talking about how you can send large files to your client. Now if you don't know this already, but you can only send 10 megabytes worth of data as an attachment in an email. So for example, if you worked as a nightclub photographer and you are emailing the photographs over to a client, then you'll understand that you won't be able to send the photographs via email because your photographs, if you resize them down to, let's say, 1,000 pixels and you took 300, you know, photographs, so you're probably looking at something, let's say, like about, let's just say 60 megabytes, okay? So as you can understand, that'd be 50 megabytes more than actual 10 megabytes allowed on Gmail. So what happens if your file was like 1.4 gigabytes? So that's what we're talking about large files. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you two different websites that allow you to transfer up to two gigabytes worth of data and another website that allows you to transfer up to 20 gigabytes of data. So come on guys, let's go and have a look at what websites allow us to do just that. Right guys, so the first website that we can use to send large files is one called WeSendIt.com. Now as you can see, it's got add files, email of recipient, your email address and your message. And that's basically how simple this stuff is. So we send it allows you to send a whopping five gigabytes of data for free. So let me show you how it works. Well, first of all, you want to fill out your details. So we're going to be sending it to UK Highland at American keyboard here, guys, at gmail.com. And then we're going to put in our email, which is test at American keyboard again at gmail.com and then we're going to put in our message which is here is your pics from the other day okay so right guys the next thing is to add the files so we can click add files here and as you can see we've got our photos within this folder here okay so you see that folder, we have these photos. Guys, I'm telling you now, do not highlight photos like this and upload them and send them. I'm telling you, if you do that, you know, particularly if you're sending like 500 photos and you upload them this way, I'm telling you, your recipient is gonna go absolutely nuts with you, right? And I'll tell you why. Most people, when they download something, they download it here to their desktop. Yeah, we can all agree that. So basically, if you open up that folder and somebody downloads it to their desktop, that means you're going to have all these photos opening up on their desktop and they're going to be angry. The correct way to send something on wesendit.com is to go to Add Files, okay? Find the folder it is you want to send, which is this folder. We want to send this folder. So we right click on it and then we send to compressed sipped folder. As you can see, it's created this folder here. I've done it twice, as you can see. So once you've compressed that folder, select it and then upload it. Because what happens now is that when it's uploading, when your recipient downloads that folder, they will download that folder instead of downloading all those individual single files. So on their desktop, they will have one folder and not hundreds and hundreds of individual photographs, which again, if they have hundreds and hundreds of individual photographs on a desktop they will go nuts at you so there you go guys that's the first website where we can use to send photographs that are of large amounts of data now once you see the transfer is complete what you can do is click ok and basically that's it you are now all set so the second website we can use to send large data is a website called wetransfer.com 
it as you can see similar to we send it but only allows you to send up to two gigabytes of uh data for free if you want the full 20 gigabytes of data then you do need to sign up to their git we transfer plus so again it works the same as we transfer we have our email who we're sending it to so that's going to be uh let's say uk highland at gmail.com and your email we're going to say test at gmail.com and your message and the message is going to be here is your pics from the other day so as you can see exactly the same as we send it now again again guys if you want to send this folder here armed response or it could be anything you call it you open it do not send it like that and click do not do that again we've talked about it if you want to send that folder right click go to send to compressed sipped folder and then when it's mixed when it's made a compressed folder it's that you want to send so and then click transfer and as you can see it is now uploading it and it is now transferring it over to your recipient so again these websites are very useful if you're a wedding photographer if you're a nightclub photographer or you know you doing any form of photography that even a commercial photographer like for e-commerce this is such a handy tool it's even handy for sending videos to people up to two gigabytes now once you've done it you will see look there we go you're done the download email has been sent your transfer is available for seven days so if you want you can send another so what does your recipient get well let me show you guys if we go over to our gmail account we will sign that sign in we should well here we go already we transfer is been very quick and they've now told us you know that we have been sent these files so we can download these files so we click it we can see here we go we've been redirected to the retransfer website and look we're ready to download that file so now the it's now downloaded and there we go go to your downloads we have got it so your recipient has got that and that is basically the same for we send it it's just that the we send it transfer is not came through yet but guys yeah there we go that's how you send large files on the internet with we transfer and we send it.com thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one